All right, so we're going to do example one. Uh, we're going to split this video into two. We'll do questions A and B, and then questions C and D in, in the next one. And in this one, we've got a triangle, and we've got a trapezium with the formulas above it. All right, so we'll start with the triangle. Using the formula, area equals a half times base times height, or half BH. Now, base is basically your line at the bottom, and height represents the vertical height of your object. Okay, so H is 5 and B is 7. So we're just going to go half times 7 times 5, and we're going to work that out. And we get 17.5 meters squared. Now, I do want to also show you that when you do the area of a triangle, you can change the formula. You can, instead of half times B times H, you can just go, sorry, B times H divide 2. Dividing by 2 and times it by half are the same thing. If you were to do it this way, you would get um, the exact same solution. You'd get 17.5 meters squared. All right, so looking at question B now, this is the area of a trapezium. This one quite often throws people a little bit. H is the height, just like on your triangle, it's the height going directly up and down. And then we've got little a and little b. Now little a and little b represent the two sides that are parallel to each other. So see how these two lines are parallel? They become a and b. So we're just going to grab our formula, a equals h over 2, bracket a plus b. Now h is 6, so it's 6 over 2. And there's actually like a hidden times here. So it's times bracket 8.1 plus 11.5 and close the brackets. So let's see what we get when we do this. And I've got 58.8. And this one's in centimeters, so centimeters squared. Um, before we stop, I do want to point out that there are some trapezium shapes that throw people off a little bit. Um, I'll do these in, in green, actually, so you can see some other shapes that might face you away. You get ones like this, where one of the sides is directly vertical, which means that this is A and this is B, and H will actually be one of your sides. This, this happens when you get a right angle. All right, that's one that you can get, and the other one that you can get is a funny looking one. Um, I'll do it in red. Once again, you've got two sides that are parallel, except it's a bit more shaped like this, and you'll have the same thing, A and B, and H will be the dotted line coming up. 